model. And it's actually the truth. We literally were having Molly on our Sirius XM radio show. And it's like the everyday girl conversation. And here we are today. I, mean, I you know, I, I love I love being a mom, so I'm just gonna like say that. But I wrote this book because I'm a true girl's girl. Like I'm a woman and I love my girlfriends and I love being the best you can be. And I don't know, like I'm that girl who will say, okay. Love the leopard, love a little mix of the rose gold, you should dye your hair blonde, go to this restaurant, you should do this thing. Like, I've always been like that girl. And, you know, now being a mom, I have to say, I never really understood like what it takes to be a village and to have your village. And moms are so like, I've always loved my mom. I think after I had books, I've loved my mom even more. So I'm like, how does she get all the shit on the table at the same time? I cook dinner, work all day. Like, but the book is all about tips and tricks and you know, really good, um, really good ways of bettering yourself. I guess is what I want to say. You know, and I don't know. I think we all just want to be better. We all want to look better, feel better, lose weight. And how do you get that flow? How do you do that ponytail? Like it's all good. It's all good. I think um, personally, and a lot of you may not know, and what really drew us into Molly as one of our new girl friends um, is her backstory and how hard this woman has really worked and she talks a lot about that she talked a lot about that because I'd love for you to share I'm so sorry I'd love for you to share Molly a little bit about your backstory and how hard you worked and a lot of the choices you made to get you where you are today because I know you did a lot of things on the house is like, okay, like, I worked my ass off. Like, if you think, like, I I looked like this when I was 19 years old, I didn't. I was 20 pounds overweight. I had brown hair. I had braces. I had adult onset acne. Actually, Are there pictures of that in the oh, world? Yeah, Wait, I don't I want to see that. I have brown hair. What's up with brown hair? I'm saying that blonde might have black hair. Yours is pretty and shiny. Mine is I did like the double mall poof, two sets of curve, two sets of rollers. <laughs> but literally, like I, I changed this, I did that. I, I was like a sponge. I'm still like a sponge. Like I look at magazines, I look at other moms, I look at my girlfriends, I look at celebrities, I look at. I'm like, okay, I like how you put those leather jeans. Like I love that. And my journey was like that's why I see I'm like if you we always take fun and kind of make fun of the supermodel like. About that inner, like anybody can change themselves. I am a full believe, like, believer that you can do anything you want to do. Like I was not, I was a girl from Kentucky. I went to public school. I went, I was a, a waitress, a really bad. I was a really bad waitress. Sales <laughs> lady. I was a really good sales lady because I was honest. I'd be like, you can't wear that. Like, you can wear this. And I always had my returning customers. And I I just work. And if someone said, you should do this, I'm like, okay, I'll try it. Or if you need to do that, you need to get your skin better. Okay, how do I do it? Tell me what to do. And you know, some women are also always very critical of getting advice. And they take it so personally. I mean, I've been told by calves are too big, my arms are too big, I'm too fat, I'm too blonde, I'm too black, I, I your hair should be shorter, your hair should be longer, I can't believe you would wear that dress, like anything you can say, I have probably, I've been told that, and we can laugh about it, but it hits hard, you know, and, and so I'm like, okay, well, the point of what I'm trying to say is that I learned from it. And some I took in, I'm like, F you. And others, I'm like, all right, let me change that. And I think that's been like the biggest like thing I can say is like, find someone you look up to. Know your body. Go and find your neck, your V-neck. Whatever length on skirt like looks good on you because that's where you're getting the confidence. Never say you're going on a diet. Never look at a picture and like, oh God, I hate that picture because two years from now, you're going to be like, I look as hot. And, but try to embrace them now because you don't know where you're going to be in two years. And I can say like, 
in my 20 year journey, I did not look like this. I look better at 41 than I look better at 21. Yeah. 